I'm pulling apart this 1541 Mark II floppy disk drive. I um, purchased it um, not working. I've already just tugged this off the, um, the spindle. I purchased it as um, not working um, and it turns out that I need to replace the power switch which it's quite a big job um, anyway so that's got the front off pull the LED out um, this sort of screw management's a drama this screw is shorter than the ones that hold the case together and I've still got four more screws to undo to get the drive mechanism out and I don't know how they are they're probably the same though as that no they're not they're different again One of the things you try and do when you're designing a product, as I understand it, is limit the bill of materials, but so that you know you have all your screws the same. But if the shorter screws were slightly cheaper, and you're making these things in the quantities that Commodore did, I guess even with three different screw sizes, um, the four in the bottom and then the one for the LED and then the four to hold the drive mechanism in even if they're all different it doesn't really matter because you're still buying <laughs> you know millions of screws so that comes out of there and are they different and can, are they keyed? Um, they are not keyed, so I will take a photo of those as well as having the uh, camera running so that there's no question later about which way in they go. And now pull them out without wondering. Oh, hang on, I don't think I quite tagged that in the photo. I'll have to check. I don't even see him because he's black. Low aliens. All right, the photo's clear on that. So we can undo all three of these. That one goes to the heads. Um, all right, out you come and you can go over here. We're now at the point where we can see the main PCB but to get this switch out we need to desolder it on the bottom and that's fine it'll give me an opportunity to give this uh, main board a proper tub that's very interesting that's a revision 5 and I actually do have a spare motherboard for one of these drives here which I can use if, if I can't replace the switch um, I didn't want to unsolder this so I figured there was a very good chance of ruining it and there we have the revision 6 it's very similar anyway I'll hang that back up I might give that to a friend if this drive works actually because if this drive works I won't need a motherboard and I do believe the thing most likely to kill one of these boards is the power supply going um, over voltage and mine will not do that so we've got screws here and here there's a question about whether I replace those electrolytic capacitors as well and I think the answer is no I do not um, they are uh, most certainly past their use-by date and should be replaced but the device works beautifully without them and, and well, well I believe the device works beautifully without them and they can actually be very very um, long-lived well, well beyond the expectations that the data sheet might create that is quite filthy though if I can't satisfactorily clean that, 
I will put it in the ultrasonic and um, that will mean changing the electrolytic capacitors. So that's disassembly. Um, we'll see how we go. I'm going to go and clean these in the sink. Um, I've got to go out so I don't really have the time to do the the desoldering of this and the soldering of the new switch. Um, but I will get to that uh, sometime soon. And hopefully we'll bring you along for the ride. I'm just checking the size and it's it's exactly the thing for the job. I pulled the cap off this one in the hope of being able to just fix it somehow, but it's seized in a, a thoroughly off position. So there we have it.